Hello and welcome to the first Kotak Life market commentary for 2023. A new year is a great thing. It offers us an opportunity to think afresh, start afresh and form a world view on a clean slate. If 2022 was a year where we decisively exited the pandemic, China being the latest and the last one, then this is going to be the year of rebuilding. So what does 2023 have in store for us? Let us look at it from three important macroeconomic perspective. The first is growth. 2023 is beginning on a rather somber note with recession being the most talked about buzzword in the entire world. The world is going to face some tough and challenging time with most of the developed markets facing a slowdown if not an outright recession. Will recession be a market mover when most of us expect and see it coming? Well, let's look at it from the participants perspective. Central banks and policy makers should be the least surprised by the onset of at least a normal run of the mill slowdown or in a recession. Why so? Because they are the ones causing it and they believe that it's a necessary short term pain for a good healthy long term gain. So they at best will be the least surprised by what we believe is going to be a mild recession. What about market participants? Well, markets are even one step ahead of the central banks, to say the least. Not only are financial markets pricing in a recession, but also the subsequent easing of monetary policies and the central bank and policy support, which economies will receive after the onset of a recession. Yield curves world over are flat, if not inverted, suggesting that in long run markets don't expect the high yields to continue. Equity markets, in spite of seeing an outright slowdown, remain buoyant in anticipation of the support that the central banks will provide to the markets. So yeah, recession may not necessarily be the major market mover because the world has, in a, in a sense, seen it coming. What about inflation? Well, inflation was a nasty problem in 22, but I think it has peaked and the world believes the same as well. Whatever the central banks have done in terms of policy actions, is going to help moderate the inflation along with the fact that the base effect, the year on year base effect will keep the headline inflation lower as well. The slowdown in global economies will be partly offset by China's reopening and coming back from COVID. But we believe that most drivers of inflation including commodities, fertilizer prices, etc. will not be out of whack and 2023 may not be as bad in terms of inflation as 2022 was. How about the fiscal situation? Well, I think this is probably where the world is moderately underpricing the risks. We have seen a lot of government borrowing and, and a lot of policy support to the economies and to the markets over the last two to three years. In a high nominal growth scenario, it is easy for a fiscal situation to, to you know, pass through a market because the market is able to absorb large borrowing programs. As we enter 23, we will see that the, the growth will slow, the revenue support to the government, which was buoyant over last year at least, will slow. And in that situation, the fiscal may put some strain on the yields as well. So overall, 2023 is likely to see the following themes. We will see yield curves steepening. If central banks indeed pivot, it will be the short term rates which will gain the most and we will most likely see a bull steepening. If it is higher for longer with fiscal strains along the way, the yield curves may bear steepen, but either case we believe the yield curves will steepen a bit. As for equity markets, we believe that markets will remain range bound and this time correction will allow the valuations to adjust and moderate over a period of time without any severe market correction. It's going to be a year of push and pulls and we will have to navigate this deftly and with all the alertness possible because there are too many risks abound. Thank you and happy trading.